17th question from the Digital SAT Test 1 Module 2 from the Google Academy of Arts that are reading writing questions. <coughs> 17 reads, which choice completes the text without a concordance with the conventions of standard English? Reading the paragraph. When external forces are applied to common glass made from silicates, energy builds up around minuscule defects in the material resulting in fractures. Recently, engineer Erika Frank Erika Frankberg of Tampere University in Finland used the chemical compound aluminum oxide to make glassy solid that can withstand higher strain than silicate glass can before fracturing. Okay, this is all very informative and thank you, Erika Frankberg, for this. But we're really interested in just the grammar. So I'm going to give you guys like a little what seems to be happening on this SAT and how these commas are used and things like that. So one thing is if I said, let's say I said President, President Joe Biden sat down, period. No commas there. Now if I said the President Then it would be comma, Joe Biden, comma, set down. So if you have the or a uh, or an before a title, and then you have the name, you need commas before and after that name. But if there's no the or a uh, or an, then it's just title and the name, no commas are needed. So then you might think, hey, it does say the here, but we're not talking about people. So if it just says the thing and then the thing name, like here, the chemical compound aluminum oxide to make blah, 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 there's actually no commas needed. One theme that I see that's pretty prevalent on this new format, this digital SAT, is that their over punctuation is often a mistake. So when the phrase could be taken out here, I could say uh, President Joe Biden sat down. If you've got a comma on one side, you need a comma on the other side. If you've got a dash on one side, you need a dash on the other side. Parenthesis on one side needs parenthesis on the other side. There will never be two colons, never be two semicolons. Um, so you could probably get rid of these two from that. Uh, a, you got the comma before, not after. B, you got the comma after, not before. And then you say, hey, do I put a comma on both sides, or do I put no commas at all? And the correct answer is D. You put no commas at all. Um, must be because it's a thing not a person. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with uh, commas, comma usage. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out that one minute video on TikTok.